was the president of Guinea Bissau came to visit the president of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, but it was strictly a private visit. It wasn't anything official at all. It was a private visit and we had to be on hand to receive him. And our president, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, received him very warmly. And uh, the president of Guinea Bissau himself exuded some enthusiasm and warmth, which is uncharacteristic, you know, uh, untypical of what we saw in the past. You know, he was very forthcoming, he was very expressive, he expressed his solidarity with the president of Nigeria and his readiness to cooperate with Nigeria at all times and with our current president. And he commended the, the laudable and, uh, you know, policy initiatives of uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu in the la last one month. And he said that everybody in the, in the world, in the international community, have been... Uh, you know, uh, commending his giant strides. So he came to pay his solidarity and, 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 and to pay courtesy call, as it were, and to, you know, uh, bond with him as a brother African head of state in the first instance, and in particular as a brother West African ECOWAS head of state, you know, uh, uh, in general. And uh, they also spoke about the forthcoming uh, ECOWAS meeting, which uh, is very imminent, and uh, spoke on other areas of cooperation. But generally speaking, it was a very strictly private uh, visit. But it was very amiable. It was uh, a meeting of two brothers. Uh, a few of us, myself, the chief of staff, the governor of Lagos, we were in attendance. And uh, it was really very cordial, very warm. A uh, very enthusiastic, brotherly meeting between two West African heads of state. And this is a very uh, commendable sign of things to come into the entire West African sub region in terms of the, the atmosphere that is being generated by uh, Nigeria's uh, giant steps in the last one month and the, the need for Nigeria to take its rightful place, you know, in the African affairs. And, uh,